SBUFalcons.com here with head coach Ryan Looney after a 167 men's basketball victory over George Fox. Coach, your thoughts on the game? Um, I was proud of how our guys responded in the second half after a little bit of a, a rough start early in the game. Two uh, real significant individual accomplishments tonight. First, let's talk about Mitch Penner, 26 points, career high, also career high, 11 rebounds. Talk about his performance. Yeah, we made a change uh, with our starting lineup and put Mitch into it tonight, and he uh, definitely responded the right way. I got a lot of his points on putbacks. Take advantage of those 11 rebounds. Uh, just comment on his performance on the glass. I think he did a good job buying into the scouting report. Um, George Fox is a team that applies a lot of full court pressure. Um, try to create uh, a lot of turnovers um, and offensive opportunities for them. Uh, our game plan was to do the same uh, with our offensive rebounding effort, and Mitch was definitely a guy that uh, was dialed in tonight. Uh, speaking of dialed in, he was 11-11 from the free throw line. He's a guy who gets there a lot, so it's nice to have someone who can make them. Yeah, he did a, a fantastic job. Our, as a whole, our team could have done um, a little bit better job in that area, um, so it was nice to see Mitch carry us. Another uh, individual who had significant accomplishment tonight, Corey Hudson, scored 15 points, and that 15th was his 1,000th career point here as a Falcon. 34 uh, players have done that in program history. Your thoughts on that? I'm extremely proud of him. Um, a lot has to go right uh, in your career um, to achieve that milestone. Um, he's definitely bought into how we need him to play. Uh, not necessarily this year, but over the course of uh, his career. Um, also, you have to stay healthy, um, and knock on wood, Corey's been able to do that too. Sure do. Uh, this is, like you say, uh, this team traps a lot, tries to force turnovers. Um, when you're patient, uh, you can get some good shots, and your team shot 61% uh, tonight. How about and that's you? what we tried to do. Our main thing um, offensively with our game plan was to stay poised and not allow them to speed us up. Um, and in all reality, now that we've played it, uh, I'm really glad that we did because a team like Simon Frazier in our conference now is playing a very similar style. So for nothing else, it was about three days of preparation for that. How nice was it for you and your team to uh, finally be at, back at Brome Pavilion after what seemed like nearly a month off? Yeah, it, uh, it's nice to be here. Uh, we're exhausted um, still right now, uh, obviously being on the road all those days. We counted it up from the moment in which we played our first exhibition, um, the beginning of November uh, at BYU, uh, to now our group spent uh, 17 nights out of our own bed. Um, but to be through it uh, and still have a chance to keep getting better here, um, we're feeling good about where we're at. You'll be out of your own beds uh, for a couple nights again next week. You'll be uh, staying at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas and play two games there, Dixie State and Rollins, on Wednesday and Thursday. Thoughts on those matchups? Uh, both teams will be good. Um, Dixie uh, State is a team that has perennially uh, been one of the top eight teams uh, in our region. Uh, we're definitely going to have to be prepared um, for that one uh, Wednesday night. Um, but Rollins uh, out of Florida will also present some challenges too. Thank you very much, Coach, and congratulations. Thank you.